So if you uh, have an upgrade to Windows 10 from Windows 7 or Windows 8, you're going to have Movie Maker installed. But if you did a fresh or clean install of Windows 10, or if you have a new PC with Windows 10, you're not going to have it. So what do you do? Well, we're going to do a search. I'm going to go do a search for a Movie Maker. It's not listed as an installed app. It would be show up there at the top of the list. So to double check, let's bring up our app list and go there and check on M's and you'll see that, nope, no Movie Maker. Well, if you're a Windows 8 user, you might think about going out to the store. Uh, that's the concept that doesn't exist in Windows 7, but let's go to the store and type in Movie Maker. What do you find? You find a lot of stuff titled similarly or whatever, or helper apps, but you won't find Movie Maker, so that's not where to go. So let's click on the search bar again. We'll go back to doing that, and we're going to click on there and say Movie Maker again. And then we're going to choose Movie Maker Online to see if we can find it. The Microsoft Edge browser comes up, and there it is. Sure enough, ignore the stuff up top, but it said, oh, Microsoft Windows. And it jumps right out to their own website, and it says, to your very own movie studio. And you click there and say, get it now. You notice it says Windows 7 and Windows 8, but it is good for Windows 10. And you notice also, this is a 2012 version, so it's very outdated, and it could go away at any time. So you want to get it now before it's gone. So it's going to ask you to run it, so I go ahead and clicked on Run. And let's get the window up here. And do not install all of Windows Essentials. You don't need all that. Uh, some of it's been replaced by newer programs. So we're going to just choose the one we want. We'll click on the second link here. And here's where we're going to say, you know, Messenger no longer uh, really exists anymore. Skype's replaced that. You don't need this other stuff. OneDrive's already installed. So all you want to do is get the Photo and Movie Maker. So we'll go ahead and install Run. I'm going to jump to the end here. And we'll say Close after it's done. And i will get rid of the browser window that was left open. And we're going to go down here to the bottom. And we'll click on the menu. And sure enough, right there, and they're recently added, there's Movie Maker. So I'm going to grab it, click and hold, drag it over here to my menu. And we'll move around here. And there it is. And just to check, let's run it. And sure enough, what comes up, oh, I'm sorry, you have to agree to a license first, uh, is good old Movie Maker, ready for you to use in Windows 10. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10, and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10, and general how-to videos, all here to help you make the most out of your system.